Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar. Welcome back for the video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and created ourselves a third city, which uh, was fantastic. So we have our third city. We're doing fine. We've got mods working. We uncovered our first civilization for the first time. Did some diplomatic trades with them and everything. Seems like uh, the other guys, uh, these guys, the Morians, are really intrigued by with this. Uh, this mountainous region that we've got, the, the resources, natural resources that we got. So this might come in in hand eventually, but we have a non-aggression pack. Uh, as I'm going to skip the turn right here, we have a non-aggression pack. So there's no danger as to right now, uh, for right now. Kerma got in our population and Bagdu as well. Good. And army lost at sea units in deep waters. So we got to be careful right here. These, these are my guys that uh, I got to uh, keep moving because otherwise they're just going to keep uh, get lost. There we go. So I don't, want to, I don't want them to get lost or anything. We're just uncovering the land, discovering the land with my uh, naval units. That's about all I can do with them or all I want to do for now. And uh, you, buddy, are just going to go here. Eventually we'll get, uh, we'll get into my own territories. We were super far away. We've done an exploring journey and stuff. All right, so another five turns for the Colossus to be completed. That's right, our first wonder, boys. We're working on it. We can also... Okay, so these are just public ceremonies. So if we need stability, instead of doing procession, we could always work on the games. Uh, just like we do for feasts or holidays as well. We can do for faith. Faith haven't really needed to work on that much. It's not really something that is important in this game as much as I thought it would be. Uh, I, I feel like in the civilization game, it's, it's definitely uh, very important to have faith in everything. But it is. Doesn't seem like it's the case. Faith is kind of a background thing uh, more than anything else. So one more turn in order to have craftsmanships. I literally don't have anything else. Uh, we're going to have a scientist star, which is going to be our first era star uh, in the next turn because we are going to complete that, uh, that that objective, I guess. And just need the other objective is pretty simple. It's just I need I actually want to build a city before getting this outpost connected to Kerma. I don't want to connect this outpost to Kerma. I want uh, this to be a city right here so they connects uh, it connects together properly, you know. So let's end the turn right here. There we go. We're in the next turn, boys. We've got a narrow star and we've got craftsman's uh, craftsmanship's uh, research. All right, there we go. Era star, boys. Craftsmanship's research. These guys, I'm just gonna move them straight away right there, and I am gonna upgrade them to swordsmen. Upgrade both of these guys to swordsmen. Uh, same thing for you. There we go. So both of them are now swordsmen. A lot stronger. If we keep to the roads, boys, the road system, we should be doing uh, much better. So let's keep to the roads just so we uh, we move faster and stuff. There we go. Just keep to the roads right here. And all right. So th that's that four turns. Another four turns, boys, before we are able to do to get the goddamn Colossus. It's, it, take a long, it takes a long time to work on the Colossus, which is the one thing that I don't like about this. Um, it takes a, a way too long right now. So we're gonna, I guess we're going to send this guy over to the science part department because food department, uh, we're maxed out. We can't bring any more food in, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. We need to start building more food stuff, like quarters and all, uh, over here because we have a lot of fertile lands, especially here. Is just I haven't uh, because I've been working on the Colossus, haven't gotten the chance to work on anything else. All right, so these guys, nothing at all. That's fine. And same thing for Kerma. Uh, he does have industry. Do you want to put him in the money, boys? Let's put him in the food. I really want to put these guys as much as possible in the food. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. And for this guy, let's keep him moving uh, right here. It looks like a lot of icy, uh, icy lands right here. So not a whole lot happening. Untaken lands. I'm not sure if there's another faction. It might be another faction right here. You see like some sort of border. So it might be another faction over here in that continent, boys. And they might not be alone, the Morians, that is. Okay. So since that is done, we need to research another technology. Let's go for mounted warfare. Why not? 
and uh yeah uh, that's pretty much it boys we're just gonna keep skipping and skipping uh, we're getting a lot of points influence points i'm gonna start using those uh, i think in the next turn we're gonna be able to finally build our fourth city and stuff because of the influence that we got so there we go so we're in the next turn attitude change the morions now feel differently about you hesitant why are they hesitant i'm friendly to them am i not like i'm not uh I'm not trying to attack them or anything, so I don't know why they're hesitant towards me. That's kind of frustrating. I don't want them to start attacking me for no reason. Uh, industry, so we got another populace. Let's bring him into the food. And uh, for you, buddy, I can't... Uh, you didn't get anything. Uh, Kurma, you got another populace. Bring into food as well. There we go. Perfect. All right, so the Colossus can now be completed uh, i mean it's going to be done in f four turns but we can complete him if we want to uh via population but i'm not going to do that instead what i am going to do is detach sham we're going to detach sham from kerma which is uh hurting us very badly boys uh let's uh bring this guy over here with food uh, we're going to get some people in science right here. Some more people right here. There we go. Keep working. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get one of our guys that's in the food system. There we go. So now it's maxed out for the food. All right. The food uh, system over here in Kerma is maxed out. Uh, we're going to do procession as well. Uh, that's perfect. All right. So we're, we're fine. Uh, that was that Sh Sham was her uh, uh, giving us a lot of good stuff. That's probably why it's doing that, but it's telling us that. But uh, we are gonna do. We're gonna evolve. We're gonna evolve our outpost. So into a city. Boom. There we go. So there is the city, and we're gonna attach it to ba Bagdu, boys. And there it is. So fourth city done. We're maxed out in cities, though. So now, uh, now we got that, boys. All of our cities are done. Uh, now what we do what do we want to do with them if we do this it's going to take three turns but first off we need to work the first things first boys we need to work big time on population gaining uh, right here and uh, not balance I want a city growth right here so city growth let's just do that and uh, we're just gonna keep start purchasing like uh, like any uh, all, every time or just gonna like every time we do another city, we just do this every time, so we're just going to do that. Uh, we're just going to quickly purchase every single one of those uh, si uh, big time uh, things. Let's get some palisades. So we got some walls now, watchtowers. Let's get the food market, um, the Levi's. We're actually going to get stone walls. Get uh, our whoops. Get ourselves the public fountains as well. Aquedocs, theater boys, and uh, House of Science, uh, of Scribes, and Library at last. Right. So we've got literally, it's the well, most well-developed city. It literally is the this most well-developed city Smogia. right now, out of all of them. There's one thing it doesn't have is uh, the growth yet of all the other cities, obviously. We already have a garrison right here, so we don't need to build any. We have one right here. Uh, what we want to do is start working. We're going to help out with the col uh, Colossus, which, uh, which means it's going to take three turns now instead of four, you know. So anything that uh, allows us to uh, waste less time, I'm going to take it for sure. Uh, now at four, 4K, though, uh, down to 4K. We were at 10K last time, so it's a lot, boys. Uh, let me see really quick. I guess I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to keep moving my, my, my navy. Just keep exploring with them, boys. And um, I guess they... Yeah, they can keep moving right here. So, just going to cover more land and more land over time. For them, we're going to start nice talking to with them. Uh, they're kind ship, so they're really friendly towards us. We cannot have any other treaties of some kind to them. So, there's literally nothing we can do with them. We can't really interact with them as much. Just, uh, I guess we gotta let the time pass, really. All right, here we go. So, mounted warfare research, boys. Uh, which means we can have parades. We can have a war elephants and horsemen, but we don't have uh, the, the resources for both of those. 
Um, we have night raid, so stealing in during the dead of night allows a greater than a surprise and greater rewards. So we can steal than uh, during the night to do some surprise raids and stuff. Uh, we are gonna move, continue to move towards there in the middle of the desert. We don't have any roads here because it's outside of our borders. That's fine. It's still another two turns before we actually complete finally the road uh, roads. Uh, Colossus of Rhodes, so it, it's 10 of population to quickly build it. Uh, I don't want to waste uh, my 10th population here in the Pala. Uh, I don't want to waste it either. feel like, uh, yeah, we're going to put someone in the food system though, because we're going to need that. There we go. And um, over here in Kerma, Kerma is doing all right for itself. It's doing pretty good. I don't want to waste my population for anything, so we're just going to keep it moving. I'm just going to keep it like it is, I guess. Uh, these guys are good. We don't need anything. Uh, do I need to do a procession right here? I do. I need to do procession. Otherwise, the stability is going to be way too low. Over here in the, this place, stability is fine. And we're going to get another people into that's going to be available in the uh, next turn. So, great for that. And we already moved our, our unit right here. So, we, all we need to do is, I guess, move... This guy right here, continue to move him. Just gonna cover more land overall. Overall, there we go. We're, uh, I'm trying to uncover as many lands as possible, like everything that's there. It seems like it might be coming across here. I don't know what's on my right. On my right, it's definitely another land for sure. Definitely another continent at least. Waiting for me on my right, but at least we got the left settled in. Uh, we need another uh, technology to research now. And now we're starting to take a little bit more time because science-wise, we're not getting as many. Uh, we So, foreign outposts, we can get that and get some quadrams to upgrade our ships. Imperial power, that would be great. So, com uh, common uh, quarter boys, custom farm, or relocate. And we can relocate the capital so we can choose a new capital. If we want to, we can modify it so that we have another capital instead. Uh, the Ballista and the Army Hierarchy. Discipline is not... Okay, so... Siege Tactics, boys. We're gonna have uh, Army Hierarchy. It's very important to have that sort of stuff um, uh, for us. It's, I feel like it's gonna be a really important thing. Uh, 210 of influence. Still gonna have to wait and build up that because uh, we need a lot of points in order to get our civics done. Nepada gained a population. Good. And uh, Columbus. Okay, so this city is starving right now. Not good. Alright, so Nepa uh, Nepada got a population. Next to Apopolis. Let's bring him into food. Uh, it already, they're already maxed out in food. Let's bring him to science then. Just bring him to science. One more turn and we're going to have the Colossus. Over there, you're starving, apparently. But the problem is, right here, is I can't do anything about it. I really can't do anything. I can send... I'm maxed out on food and food production and everything. Ah, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm maxed out, boys. So, I can't really do anything about this. So, all I can do, I'm guessing what I'm going to try and do is... Because they're starving, I'm going to actually lose population here. Instead of losing population, I might as well use it the proper way. I'm going to use three population right here in this city in order to get the Colossus done already. Right, done, done and done. Uh, so there we go. So we got our first wonder. This Colossus is a mighty image for a mighty empire. And it's discreetly garbed in a toga for those who pass beneath. So Colossus of Rhodes, boys. We got it. It's completed. We got the wonder. We spent uh, three population in order to get it, which is fantastic for us. Let's get this guy over to... Uh, well, see, that's the problem. I can only have four of people right here. I got to start working. So I, I'm going to uh, quickly build those, though, in this city. You know, I can start building those things. And we really need to start focusing on food. I mean, look at that. Four only? That's not enough, boys. That is not enough. We we need to work on that. So we need to work on the food big time. Uh, we don't have garrison, right, though? That's the one thing I need, though. I'm going to need some garrisons. So uh, for the garrisons, I feel like 
We got some problems right here. I'm gonna get a garrison. Gotta get myself a garrison right here. There we go. Garrison right here. We're gonna quickly build it as well. So there we go. We got the garrison. Uh, my uh, units are gonna spawn here. And also, all right. So now we're gonna we want to work big time. Like, sure, money is gonna be it would be great, but we need food. We need food, boys. So uh, we're gonna send a farm right here. Quickly build that farm. There we go. So we need as much food as possible. So really need to work on that food, those food tiles, especially here. It's available. Let's do it. You know. So we're gonna we're gonna build on these farms big time. We're really work on those because uh, we really need those right now for this city. Uh, all right. So this right here, this city right here, Nepala, it's doing fine for food. Kind of maxed out a little bit though. We're maxed out in food wise. We're producing only five per turn. This is another place where we're going to need uh, some farms. We're going to need some farms over here as well. So uh, that's another thing that we're going to need, uh, need to uh, focus on. Uh, first off, though, let's build a library and do, uh, the other thing. Don't want luxury markets. All right. All, it do all these things gives us money. I don't care about that. I Right now, what I need is I need big time. I, I, I need the food. So I need some food. Let me get some food right here. All right. Get some food right here. Okay. Start working on that, buddy. So we're working on the food and for Kerma, what do we need? Food, same thing, food right here. Everything's food right here because we got too many population. That's the problem. The furthest we get, the more population we get into a city, the hardest it, it is to actually produce food, boys. So that's what we need to work on, uh, work on I guess. All right, that is done. And for this guy, uh, don't have anything else to build and what we need to focus on the most right now uh, as we get this guy right here I'm gonna max out um, the production of food uh, I'm gonna I guess spend it on money or science we could get some money right here so luxury markets and arbors the arbors are more important more than anything else so we're gonna do an arbor it's not really tell me oh it's tell me there we go right here Right here would be perfect. So let's create an arbor. We're going to focus on that. That's what we're going to build on right here. Uh, next up, we've got our military units, right? Ready to move. Let's move him up. And also what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to go towards that direction. We're going to probably skip. We're going to go through the desert. Continue to move through the desert. But we're going to try and skip a little bit uh, as well and uh, prevent them from attacking us they might be tempted to attack us and stuff so that's what we got to worry about uh, our, our our navy right here let's keep them moving boys uh right here i want to keep them moving into the, near the shores there we go it seems like a, that's a really huge continent it might be bigger than ours to be honest it might be boys okay so that is done next up we've got it's good to these see guys you. we could propose an alliance of some sort don't really want to do that just yet though we want to keep it uh normal as a normal uh population we we don't want to be over uh friendly too friendly with them so let's uh skip to the next turn so turn 46 uh our new city our new city gained a population good resource sold so access to your stage purchased by the Okay, so the Morians purchased some sage from us. Okay. Uh, new wonder can be claimed. Uh, I don't really care about the wonders, though. The wonders, they cost a lot. And it takes way too long to build. And the problem with that is I don't have time to focus on that at all right now. Do not have time to focus on that. What I can do is, I guess, uh, start working my way... Working my way towards the forest because these guys are really moving fast. I don't know what they have. I'm way stronger than them, but they're moving fast, boys. It's kind of scary a little bit. Um, you don't not have anything else. All right, so the food, like food-wise, we're doing all right. We're doing all right now food-wise. So there's that at least. Uh, for these guys from Nepada, how's it going over there? You're doing okay. You're doing okay, but you could be doing a lot better. That's for sure. And uh, if we look right here, 
in uh, Kerma. Kerma, we've got somebody in this industry. I don't care about that. Uh, we're already maxed out for food. So I need to go into science. Again, I need to go into science for that. We've got 500 points. Over 500 points. We can spend it in order to have some religions uh, or choose a new civic. So knowledge authorities. What would that give us? So plus one science per researchers or plus one science by per number of trade routes. That would be the one I would get, but I'm not too interested in that right now. What about the other ones? Plus 10 food per number of attached territories on all cities. That would be great. Allow to claim and attach and merge territories with money instead of influence. That would be great as well, but I feel like that's really interesting. And uh, what about this? Uh, plus three influence. Or had a new grievance against empires with a different state religion. I'm going to do the land rights and we're going to do communal land, boys. We're going to Why do that. Individual wealth Definitely. That's the one we want to go for. The of something and next up is going to be about land. 700 points that we're going to need. So, Okay, so that is done. So with uh, that done now, it's an extra 10 food, boys, for every city. Because they've got uh, like population and stuff. So it's, it's going to help them out. Look at that. That helps them out big time. That's perfect exactly what i want to see that's really yeah that's really helping us out right now that's what uh that's what re uh, is really going to be great for us that's something that i wanted uh for the wonder itself you see the unclaimed wonders right here this has been claimed right here uh the Aeon gardens has been claimed by the morians and the temple of artemis has been claimed as well can't go for anything yeah, I can't go for anything else right now. So that's fine. Uh, we've got my units. I think we need to move them. So let me let me move my ship right here. There we go. Seems like it's going across right here. So seems like uh, it's doing like some sort of... It, it looks a lot like the Americas, to be honest. This territory right, right here. And uh, what if we go with our units right here? We can't do anything with them yet. Okay. Uh, I want to build myself a second army. I did say I was going to do that. Got 15 of population here, 17 over Kerma, 5 over here. Okay, we're, we're, we'll wait it out a little bit. We'll see how it goes in terms of uh, uh, of my city's growth and stuff. But uh, I might be tempted to just get a, a second army right here already. Siege tactics, we can get ballistas. And army hierarchy as well is a thing now. For this city right here. Uh, we can get an extra populace for the growth, which I think I might do. Actually, I need people for the science, though. Yeah, I need people on the science part. So let's bring up somebody for the science department. And uh, do we have... Okay, so now... Okay, so I'm going to quickly purchase the farmer's quarter because I need to build a lumber yard. There we go. So we got the farmer's quarter right here. Now that we got the lumber yard, I can... I think I, I need to start working on it. But I only have 10 population. I don't want to build it right here. I should build it like in Nepada or something for the next troops and stuff. So I think that's what I should do. So instead right here, we need to produce food. Food and science are kind of equal on par, but food is very important. Money, I'm doing fine. Uh, so I'm going to keep producing money right now uh, or food. I'm just going to keep producing food. I don't care about industry at all, boys. I really don't care about it. It's not important uh, to me at all. So yeah, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna put it right here. Put the put the food right here. A food thing right here. Uh, for the other ones, Kerma right here. We're just gonna put uh, quickly purchase the farmer's quarter. We don't have. We cannot build the lumber yards. That is not something we can build. Okay, got you. I guess because we don't have any woods, that doesn't make sense. We have plenty of woods right here, but I guess. Guess they don't want to. Uh, I I guess so, boys. It doesn't matter, I guess. So uh, 70 food, 25 of food right here. Gotta bring up that food, boys. Gotta work on it big time. So keep working on the food, I guess. Uh, food resources. So let's keep on uh, working on farms. We cannot work on those for some reason. Okay, so we can only get swordsmen, which is fine by me, I guess. So let's just get some swordsmen. Uh, we're gonna quickly purchase them, boys, and. Um, I also want to... Uh, where are they going to spawn? They're going to spawn right here, right? 
I want them to spawn right here first. And I want them to spawn in the city. All right. So we got one swordsman. Another one. And uh, for the other ones, not really. So these guys are going to be fine. I'm going to need... I'm going to actually quickly purchase right here some sword. Uh, once they get there, it's going to have time to grow some more population. I'm going to quickly build like some archers or ballista, whatever I can get my hands on. Right here, food we're doing okay. So I'm guessing now we can go for science again. So we're going to go for science, boys. And we're going to build a science uh, thing right here. A research quarter right here. Okay, that's uh, that's done. And for my uh, unit right here, uh, we, need to, we need a new research first, though. Let's uh, take uh, care of our new research. Imperial power or foreign power uh, outpost. Let's do imperial power. And now we're going to attack these guys. So let's attack these guys real quick, boys. Make sure that they're dealt with. Uh, manual battle, of course. We do have some archers. So first of all, we are going to do that. And this guy, uh, this guy right here is going to be here. Same thing for uh, this guy. All right. So they're going to be able to move by. And we're going to start attacking. So, okay. This guy cannot do anything. They, they moved up or something. Oh, they moved. They didn't move. Okay. Okay. So I want to be able to attack them. So start uh, with your archers. Start doing your thing, buddy. There we go. Attack them big time. All, All right. Together. Archers, do your thing, buddy. There we go. Kill them off, boys. Easily, just like that. And uh, that does it right there. I think that does it. If I can move it or something. Let's move. Let's see if there's more units. I don't know if there is. Don't think there is more units. I think we're fine, boys. So automatic battle now. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so we're fine, boys. So uh, we just added needed to uh, end the round. So uh, there's more people right here. We are gonna attack them with my archers. My archers are really like have the, all the range in the world. So doing all like as many damage as possible. So we got an arrow star from that. We just need a couple more population, and we've got uh, another arrow star as well available. So population gain over Columba Sally. Great, that's really great. That gave us a free population right there, boys. Like to see that. We're now, well, we're still at 12. Okay, so I don't know why, why it told me that, I guess. Yeah, I don't have anybody else to move, I think. My ships have moved, right? No, uh, I've got uh, these guys that need to move. Okay, so my navy hasn't uh, moved yet. So this uh, is something we needed to work on. What about the Morians? Just check up on them really quick, boys. Yes. Uh, we're fine, I guess. The Morians, we need, we don't need to talk to them at all. All right, so that's that's fine on this side. So let's uh, do one more turn, boys. Let's just finish one more turn off. All right, so Nepada gained a population, uh, two population, an extra two population. Aerostar gained because of that. Good. New wonder is available. Whatever. All right, so Nepada, show me what you got. So two more people are available. Get one into the food production. And uh, I'm maxed out for the food, so I'm gonna go into the science right here. Perfect. We got some uh, religion thing going on right here. Maybe a new religion uh, things that we can build and stuff. So that would be great. So uh, I don't, I can't build anything else right here. So I'm just gonna keep working on what we're working. For these guys, just follow the roads so that you can go faster here. All right, there we go. And for you, buddy. Uh, where do we want to put uh, this guy right here? Okay, we're going to put him in the food, obviously. And an extra populous. Do we have anybody else? We can build archers right here. That is a thing we can do. And that is a thing we want to do. Uh, definitely a thing we want to do. And they're going to they're gonna spawn right here, which is perfect. So let's do that. Let's spawn some more units. So I'm going to uh, quickly purchase the farmer's quarter, boys. And we're going to build some... Uh, archers we're gonna build two archers just like that and uh i guess now we can start working on as i'm gonna uh, send some of uh, two population to work on the science i'm gonna start working on the food maybe or science not science is the one thing i i need to work on in five of science right here let's keep it going let's do that so now i've got my two archers we're gonna connect these two together and they're gonna create it's gonna create ourselves a full army which is exactly what we wanted the entire time these guys are gonna move them we're gonna start moving them and uh, do an, a complete assault do we want to assault these guys 
I guess we do. Yeah, there seems to be um, seems to be enemies right here. Let's assault them. Prepare a siege, boys. So uh, let's start assaulting them. We're gonna do Mario battle. This is a big fight right here. So a lot of people. Last time we died. Remember that. So we gotta be careful this time around, boys, and not <laughs> not actually die. So end the deployment. And now we're gonna start attacking. So first thing we're gonna do. Is we're gonna definitely gonna shoot these guys on the back right here so they can't deploy we're gonna shoot these guys right here boom there we go so we clear the passage boys clear the path these guys are going towards here these guys are gonna go here move here there we go and they're gonna start attacking all right start attacking we've got the outpost going right here perfect we're doing great now it's their turn to move what are they gonna do they're gonna start attacking us all right good Okay, so they attack us that's fine lose some a little bit of health but we're way overpowered compared to them they do have some swordsmen i believe as well so i think they also have some swordsmen but they're just attacking me that's just going to give a lot of xp to my unit right here just keep attacking him yeah keep attacking him man it's just giving him a lot of xp yeah 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 all right that's good perfect we won boys siege has been won there we go so Knock is now ours, actually. It's a city. All right, we got a fifth city. Do we want to get rid of it, though? We got to sell a, a, a fifth city, boys. I don't know. I think I want to get rid of it, though. All right, well, you know, I'll, I'll roll with it. I'm going to roll with it. We, uh, we do have a new civic available with that as well. So I'll roll with it. I'll take the city. Sure, why not? And we'll create an outpost. What we're going to do is, I guess we'll create an outpost over here. Connect these two together, and that should do it. I guess. There we go. Granary right here. Number yards. We're gonna build all the stuff we need to build over here, just to make it a good city and stuff. So, we got ourselves a fifth city, boys. Two cities basically uh, built up in one video. Uh, I guess that's uh, really uh, good for us. Aqueducts. Let's get a theater going. Let's get palisades, of course. Get some stone walls. Get the school going. Get the uh, house of scribes and finally but not least library which uh we don't have enough money for that uh we spent literally all of our money 10k boys so 10k just like that gone uh i guess what i'm gonna end up doing is just uh save it up for now or we'll we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the next turn i guess the next turn uh, we're gonna have the money and stuff all right so i have enough money now so let's do it boys I know you guys are probably going to not like the fact that I using money cheat mods in order to quickly purchase everything. But that's just how I roll. I don't care. I'm trying to get the best uh, the best options for myself. So what do we do here? Do you want to build food? I think food is always the best option right here. So let's just build some food and uh, build some food right here. There we go. And I think the last one we need to work on, yes, is right here. And we uh, do have an option, lots of options, actually right here. There's a lot of fertile lands right here, boys. A lot of good options. And now, uh, now that we got that, I think um, food and science are pretty tied up together. But we can go for science for sure. Let's get a science center right here. All right, that is all done, boys. So it's all complete. Don't need to work on anything else. Uh, we do have the merchant thing. Which I want to use in order uh, for another luxury thing, so uh, I could do that. Let me uh, let me do that really quick. Boom, just like that, and we gain some money. Cost us some influence, but that is fine because we're getting plenty of influence per turn. So with that done, last thing we want to ch uh, check on is the religion because it was popping off a minute ago. I want to go to the attendant screen. Can I actually modify anything? We managed to take over the Nox territory, which means we're over the city cap, but that's fine by me. We got an extra free city, basically. Uh, we'll definitely take it. We'll take whatever I can get. Uh, uh, next, uh, next thing we need to focus on, I guess, is with this army, we'll create an outpost somewhere around these regions uh, big time and connect these two together, boys. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.